Well, here we are, and we're going to solve four problems using the force equation. The first problem that we're going to solve simply says a go-kart is accelerated at 2 meters per second per second, that's the same as 2 meters per second squared, of course, by an accelerating force of 300 newtons. What is the mass of the go-kart? And always, in a word problem like this, it's good to go through the problem and just label what you have. The first one, let's see, is the acceleration. We can label that A for acceleration. This is 300 newtons. It says a force of 300 newtons, so we'll just label that force. It keeps us from making some dumb mistake. What is the mass of the go-kart? Well, it says what is the mass, so we're looking for M, the mass, which means that we need an equation that includes acceleration, force, and mass, but we're going to be looking for the mass. So we need an equation that starts out by saying M equals, and we have to complete the equation. Well, if you remember, we used that magic triangle to help us rearrange the force equation. And when we put the force equation in here, we said that force equals mass times acceleration. Force equals mass times acceleration. Well, we're looking for the mass. So mass equals force divided by acceleration. Mass equals force divided by acceleration. And from our problem, we know that the force is 300 newtons. We know that the acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. And we also know that we can solve this 300 divided by 2. That gives us 150. And we notice that it's newtons over meters per second squared. Well, recall that that newton is actually a kilogram meter per second squared. So what factors out of that is the meter per second squared, and that leaves kilograms, which is a mass unit. That makes perfect sense. So the unit in their answer is going to be kilogram. So the answer is 150 kilograms. All right, our second problem down here says how much force is applied to a 300 kilogram rocket to accelerate it at 5 meters per second squared. Now we're looking for F, the force. We have the mass. We have the acceleration. We know that force equals mass times acceleration. F equals M times A. There it is. So we're going to plug this information in here. Force equals mass, 300 kilograms, times our acceleration, 5 meters per second squared. So the force is equal to 5 times 300, 1500. And that's going to be kilogram meters per second squared. Or we can say 1,500 newtons. Either answer is sufficient. Nothing factors out of the unit. It's just kilogram meters per second squared or newtons. So our answer here is 1,500 newtons. A force of 1,500 newtons applied to a 300 kilogram rocket will cause the rocket to speed up, or accelerate, positive acceleration, of 5 meters per second squared. Well, let's do another problem. What is the acceleration of a 2 kilogram model airplane if the engine can produce a total thrust force of 10 newtons? Let's go ahead and label the, the variables inside the, the problem here. What is the acceleration? Well, we're looking for acceleration. So A equals, we'll put a question mark there, and let's see, what is the acceleration of a 2 kilogram model airplane? Kilograms is a mass unit, so we know that we have the mass. 
and we also have the thrust force, that's force, of 10 newtons. So here we're going to be looking for acceleration. And if we go back to our original equation, acceleration equals force divided by mass. So acceleration equals force divided by mass. The force, 10 newtons. The mass, 2 kilograms. So that gives us 10 divided by 2, numerically, works out to 5. And that's 5 newtons per kilogram. Well, don't forget that that newton is actually a kilogram meter per second squared. So what factors out of this is the kilogram and that leaves meter per second squared which is an acceleration unit so that's the unit in the answer meters per second squared so what that says is that if you apply a 10 newton force to a 2 kilogram model airplane that airplane will accelerate at 5 meters per second squared all right, the next problem says, what is the weight of the airplane discussed in problem three? Well, you got to understand this, weight is a force. And because weight is a force, it's measured in newtons just like any other force. And it depends on a mass applied, having a force applied to it causing an acceleration. And the acceleration we're going to use here is the acceleration due to gravity because gravity is what pulls on masses to give them an acceleration downward. And so our equation, force equals mass times acceleration, will work for this problem. The force here is the weight. The mass is the mass of the airplane. And the acceleration is not A, it's now referred to as G, which is the symbol for the acceleration due to gravity that we talked about in a previous video. And if you remember, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. All objects near the surface of the Earth are pulled downward by the force of gravity, causing those objects to accelerate downward at 9.8 meters per second squared. And so, that's what gives an object its weight. So we're going to call this not just force, we're going to call it the force of weight. So our equation becomes force of weight equals mass times the acceleration due to gravity, g. It's the same equation we used before. It's the acceleration equation. It's just that we are specifically using the acceleration due to gravity because we're talking about weight. So if we plug some numbers in here, the force of weight is equal to the mass, which is 2 kilograms for this model airplane, times 9.8 meters per second squared. And that means that the force of weight, the weight of this model airplane, is 19.6 kilogram meters per second squared or I can say 19.6 newtons so roughly 20 newtons is the weight of that model airplane now there are three problems solved using the acceleration equation the force equation utilizing mass and acceleration. Remember that a force acting on a mass will cause that mass to accelerate. 